guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing today in today's video guys i want to just talk about my business and don't mind this is my husband and i literally just finished filming a video for bella ninja live so feel free to check in watch it and all the good stuff <laughs> but i just realized that i don't talk much about my business on here and when i say my business i mean my fabric business and especially in a time as this right so i just wanted to talk to somebody if you're a business owner or you just care to listen to like any update on my business just keep on watching all right so my business journey has been very it's been very divine <laughs> that's all i can say right when i started the business in 2016 i didn't have a store it started out as an online business so it was it was fantastic like all the sales i was making all the profit i was making was literally mine to keep right aside from maybe when i choose to pay myself and stuff like that so as the business started to grow and i had like investors come up for expansion i decided to explore the physical store aspect of it and that's when everything just I don't understand anyway so as you guys know a lot of you guys know because i brought you guys along in the store opening even the opening of the other shop or when i moved right anyway let me not jump the gun from the first store i took a three bedroom flat in lucky phase one big space guys big space he contained all my things i even had a spare room there that my you know tailor was staying and things like that but i realized at the end of the day that there was no roi there was no return on investment so was the business still making money yes thankfully because of our online presence i was still making sales i was still making profit but from online the number of people that entered the store like you don't spend that much money and i i say that this is a lagos thing especially an island thing where people just open up shops and even though they have online presence some even don't have online presence right they just open up stores and people don't come and they are still there like i'm too prudent for that i'm too business wise for that but i mean everybody would have their own reason and you know that some people are so cash backed that they don't mind but in my case ha, every penny counts so i took up that store and it was a lot of money to be honest because the renovation a lot of money and i didn't even enjoy the store as much there was a lot of drama in that space for the whole year so i knew that it was time to leave but the main reason i even left was because there was no roi there was no point investing in something that wasn't yielding me results i don't know how the other businesses that were there were thriving in my case even though the business was making money i wasn't about to just be spending it on rent and just claiming i have a physical store so as again spending the amount of money i was spending on rent i took the hard decision to get a smaller space which i did last year march i was pregnant i was heavily pregnant and i was still moving i did a vlog around that time so i did that and i meanwhile i just remember that when i wanted to film this video my husband said don't wear this cloth you've worn it too much on your channel and i said to him is this your cloth is this your cloth <laughs> this was a dress i made i used to film my very first youtube video but it's amazing how it still fits right ah. it's wild <laughs> but anyway and it's the show that is original my mother in law bought it for me so yes anyway so as i was saying i'm sorry that deviation wasn't necessary um so i got a smaller place in um osaka very close to my house for that matter it still did the job because it, it fitted all my things perfectly the only difference was i couldn't accommodate any staff there which was fine i mean i was now looking to get a staff that could come and go anyway in terms of like so scott or the other arm of the business which i've really slowed down on i'll probably make another video on why and all that stuff but I mean, for the fabric business, it was fine. My sales rep too would obviously just resume and come. <laughs> resume and come. We'll resume and go back home. And everything was good, right? And you know what? If if people said, oh, you know, the visibility in the first one you took wasn't that much. This was on a major road. And do you know how I know? A lot of people would message me and say, I just passed your store. I just passed your store. Oh, I just saw your store. But there was no sales there was no record of sales coming from the shop so what i was supposed to do maybe in the whole one year i was there i'll be honest with you guys and i can be vulnerable right maybe four or five customers came into the store i was shipping out ashwebi 
every other month what am i saying every other month every month in fact sometimes three or four times a month i was you know shipping out ashebi but it wasn't coming from sales for from physical customers it was coming from online and that's why i'm so thankful if you've ever made a you know purchase from us online i'm so thankful for you guys you guys are the ones keeping my business all our clients in the diaspora shout out to you you know so i was not wondering that i'm just paying rent even though this rent was like divided by three <laughs> of what i paid in the first one you know but still i wasn't seeing any arrow i literally because i would pay my sales rep so what was the point of really paying all these people if i wasn't getting don't get it wrong i still made some sales but it didn't add up to the amount of money i was spending in the store so this is where covid could not win because of all that you know my husband was even saying that do we try for another year i was first of the opinion that okay let me get a smaller place again but my husband was like uh you know even the cost of renovating everywhere is something right so do you want to try this for another year but guys guess what i went into my books and i made a very analytical judgment of the situation and i just said you know what I'm, I'm leaving this store and thankfully my my <laughs> my rent was much like i said right and all along i had this study that could take all my goods this is that's where my goods are right now and i'm just so thankful for that you know inclination of the holy spirit for that push of the holy spirit and this is why if you see your business as ministry see then the sky is your starting point if you see your business as not just a business you involve god in everything you're doing in that business you're still you're, you're going to get results you're going to go far you're going to be able to make decisions like this as long as your spiritual antenna is sharp you know so i'm just so thankful obviously nobody envisaged this lockdown or anything right so for me it was just a case of okay if this business is not making money from a physical store you might as well just admit the fact that you're meant to be an online store at least for now right there are businesses that thrive as an online store only amazon asos you don't see physical stores of these companies right so i'm like you know what i'm just going to do that if push comes to shove i'm going to work on developing a website instead so that the day instagram crashes you know <laughs> god forbid let it all crash now please we're still cashing out on instagram but i mean i just thought all this all these funds that you're putting in a physical store why not invest in other things you can build around being a like a real online business and i'm so thankful I, I i made that decision i packed my stuff in fact when the valuables the main valuables which are my stock were gone that was before i traveled to dubai I don't, a lot of you guys must have seen the dubai vlog i was in dubai when my husband helped to move all the furniture all the pictures and things so i'm just so thankful that i took that decision because i'm here right now like what if i renew that rent out of a place of let me save face or let me not let people feel like the business is making money because i feel like these are some of the reasons why people lie to themselves here in this lagos to be honest can we just be real <laughs> you know or maybe just let's be open if you're hoping and you have cash back in, like i said that's fine but if you're hoping and investors funds is in your business you've put so much and you want to start reaping and you're just hoping or saving face is not worth it it's only this one life you know these people you're hoping and saving face for they don't send you they are even the ones that don't buy from you everybody that has passed shout out to you guys those are passed and say oh solutions i hate the store now i'm not in the store okay when you're in the store i will come it's not me that i'm selling the market is the in the shop is the cloth you know so that just goes to say that i would not say because i want to save face or just to maintain the i have a physical store the the, the presence was good because in a way it also creates a credibility for your clients you know it gives the business that credibility that okay if anything i know the physical location of the store but you have to weigh the options right and i'm so thankful i did that because i can imagine just sitting at home rent going my mom still mentioned it this morning that i'm so happy for you because it's not cheap maybe people that are in like i don't know where it's cheap in lagos but i know the rent rate compared to like akure or shujiget maybe those kind of people can get away with times like this but if you're in lagos and you're paying your rent in millions then you know that it's just god that saved me from this pandemic affecting my business not to now talk of if they will now say okay don't worry anytime pandemic is over that's when your rent to start counting i'm sure they were not going to say that you know so i'm just so thankful for that decision i made and this is just to go to any business person out there if your rent is running and all that maybe you want to try to reach out to your you know 
landlord and have a concrete agreement on how they can subsidize your next rent or just find a way to put these times in consideration because i cannot honestly imagine i haven't wasted money wasted years on rent in my first year in my second year i will now be stuck again because of pandemic now i'm even thinking about it and that's the other part right because now who is really doing weddings weddings are not allowed worldwide people are hiding in their houses all the ashwebi others they are here i have like two bags here the other two bags there you know of ashwebi that to even deliver some are in the uk some are in the us some are here in lagos and i can't deliver obviously and that's even a problem in itself and now i'm thinking that so where's my business going i'm reading articles i'm listening to all this like forecasts because you also have to be upfront with yourself you know what's the what, what's the end of your business after this what's the end of your business after this what's going to happen how are you going to survive post pandemic what's the future of your business after now and i was listening to something very profound on instagram they were like some people will have to actually go back to nine to five after this pandemic please don't be the part of people that will now bury their heads you're not making money but you want to create a front just know that everybody's in this together because honestly if you check my instagram page except by the time this video is out i've posted because i'm thinking of even gradually getting into it but i haven't been motivated to even post anything and it's funny because people keep reaching out to me still i'm thankful for that that oh i want this fabric i want that fabric is is hard to even ask my debtors for their balance because i know that their weddings have been postponed so i mean we're all in this together and i just want to say that you should also use this time to access the real situation of where your business is heading and you have to really do a market analysis a proper analysis of what this business is going to look like post pandemic nobody really has a final idea of you know where all of this is going to go to so yeah i just said i should come up here and talk about that but by the grace of god we'll pull through we will not be hungry since i was young now i'm old i've never seen the righteous forsaken or is still begging for bread so i know that god would continually show up for us but if you also need to make some like strategic moves please go for it the lord's our combined strength in jesus name thank you for watching please subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one bye even those i wore the cloth sorry i know you said i should not wear the cloth but i wore the cloth <laughs> <laughs> Babe, this was the cloth I wore for my very first YouTube video. I know. And it's my size like this. It's the green of love. Excuse, love Excuse us. I'm proud of you. Proud of you, safe. I'm very proud. <laughs> of you. They don't eat 24 hours a day. See, <laughs> <laughs> I'm snacking. Okay, that's good. Apple. Babe, there is a bad spot on that apple. You see that? Yes. No. It's, it's so bad. Yes. Yes. Do you know I didn't even see it? See? And I checked. It's so bad, you have to cut it away. Mm. I'm, your, I'm your Eve. Yeah. I don't feed you bad apple. Anyway, that doesn't make sense.